Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelly, of course. I started filming just as a plane is going overhead, but that's okay. It's a beautiful Monday. I'm filming this on a Monday to post for Tuesday. I thought, oh, perfect, I'm filming it on a Monday. I'm probably gonna naturally feel annoyed for the I am so annoyed booktube tag, but I'm not because it's beautiful today. I was tagged by Jess Book TV Girl, and this is a tag that was created by Books I'm Not Reading, and she based this off of a conversation that she heard um, a web of stories having. So that is where this all came from. So let's get into the prompts and let's see how annoyed I can be. Number one, do publishers ever do something that you find annoying? Share an example. Okay, so a good example of this would be you're in the middle of like collecting a series of books and suddenly the publisher decides to change the design to where maybe it's bigger or smaller so it's not cohesive on your shelf or like there is a cover change that just totally doesn't go with the others. I can abide it but I don't like it it does annoy me a bit number two have you ever been annoyed by a spoiler even something as simple as someone else telling you there's a great plot twist sometimes I don't like knowing there's going to be a plot twist but sometimes it gets me excited to read the book that's true so um I would say that something that really has annoyed me with spoilers is I'm trying to look up maybe the author of a book I know the title or maybe I know just the author and I'm trying to find the title and I look it up on google or something and a big spoiler pops up just trying to find simple information that irritates me to no end so that's happened to me before Number three, have you ever been annoyed by what was discovered in a little free library, a book sale or a used bookstore? Tell us what you found and why it was so annoying. I still have the book, but I'm not going to show it to you. I thought that I was getting a, like a kind of spinoff of Goodnight Moon at a library sale a couple weeks ago. And it actually was a satire called Goodnight Bush. <laughs> And so it's like, um, like it's making fun of like Bush and Cheney. <laughs> and I did not intend to get that because I was trying to buy something for my kid. But it was like supposed to be like a funny, like political satire. So I was so irritated that I spent a dollar on that one. I thought it said good night bus. So I thought I was getting like a good, like child, children's like picture book. That's not what it was. <laughs> And I like discovered my nine-year-old reading it aloud and cracking up hysterically. He did not get it at all that it was political. He just thought I think mommy had lost her mind and what she was that she's buying him violent content. All right. When it comes to short story collections, are you annoyed if there's a novella in the middle of the collection? Of course, I think I'd rather have a full book, but it doesn't annoy me. And I may not purchase it if it's like a series that I really like. And of course, I don't purchase books much anyway, but I probably will definitely read it from the library. But if I'm really waiting for a sequel, I want a full book, but I will take a novella. It doesn't annoy me too much. Number five, deckled edges. Beautiful or annoying? I like deckled edges. They don't bother me. They're not like something that I will seek out, but they don't bother me at all. Um, other people's annotations in a used book or library book. Annoying or are you okay with it? If I'm getting a used book and, and it's like something that I know, I, I'm not annoyed with it. I, in a way, it sometimes is kind of cool. You're kind of getting someone else's take on this magical thing we call reading, you know, I, I find like that is, can be really interesting to s see someone else's perspective and what they found was worthy of being notated. So, um, is if there's a series or a collection of certain kinds of books, like an imprint, I don't really have opinion on that either way. I, I don't really, um, seek that out, but it does not bother me either. It's just something that I really, don't don't have much in my life um eight did the decisions of characters in a novel ever annoy you share the book and what decisions you found annoying oh gosh all the time all the time anytime there is a miscommunication trope it makes me so mad okay i'm gonna go it's the um oh what is that series i'll put the book up but it's like the series that is um, so my favorite trilogy is the 
Infernal Devices series. This is a prequel to the Mortal Instruments by Cassandra Clare. I just love that series. And I like, okay, the, um, the, the trilogy that's about like all those characters, like their descendants and their kids. But it, and I and really shipped two characters in the story a lot, but they, um, they kept having a miscommunication trope and if they would just have had a conversation and the book was good in other ways which kept me reading but yeah so you guys know what I'm talking about but I'm going to put the picture up and it's the Cassandra Clare trilogy after the Infernal Devices. Are you ever annoyed by how someone organizes their books? What do you find annoying? If it's not in my house it does not annoy me. Um, sometimes my kids putting theirs like recklessly back on the shelf annoys me a little bit but um, I still don't like be like, oh, it has to be alphabetical. If it makes sense how they have it together and they can find it, that's fine. But if it's put on like sloppily where the books are going to get messed up, I don't particularly care for that. But if I go to someone else's house, I don't care. It doesn't bother me at all. And then 10, share something bookish that you find annoying. I find annoying that people will dig at other people's reading choices and their reading preferences and what they like and are, if they're insulting about it like for instance I do not like did not like my um Colleen Hoover reading experience ID and have to verity but I am not going to stand here and say that um you know that's just like stupid books or something like that that would be very disrespectful of me to talk about other people's reading experiences as if I know better than them so it annoys me when people do that even though um I have very very strong opinions myself you know but to to dog on other people's choices is disrespectful I think especially so I'm gonna tag Jess Freeds, Chatty the Mad Chatter and Bandana Book Mom if you don't want to do it no worries if you do I can't wait to see what annoys you all right try not to be annoyed take a deep breath and read a lot bye-bye